what's up everyone arctic here bring you guys the fourth episode of my halo 4 tips and tactics series today i'm going to be taking a look at the hard light shield which unlike the previous two episodes it's a defensive ability uh, that you actually receive a movement penalty uh, once you have it activated and in use now i'm going to be covering some general tips and tactics in this video hope you guys find it useful let's get right into it okay so some general information about the hard light shield uh, once you have it activated, it lasts about five seconds. Then after use, uh, you'll start to see it regenerate at about the three second mark. You cannot use it while you are crouched and your shields will not regenerate while it's in use. So if you're hurting, uh, you're trying to get to cover uh, or by a teammate, you need to deactivate that shield uh, in order for your uh, shields to recharge. Now I mentioned that this is a defensive ability, so it does have the capability of blocking enemy projectiles. However, you can still be splattered and you can still be stomped by the mantis. I will be going into the types of projectiles that the hard light shield can deflect, but before I do that, I wanna give you guys a picture of how I was generally using the hard light shield uh, when playing. So in terms of complete loadout sets, I either had AA efficiency on or shielding in that tactical upgrade slot. The idea behind uh, both of those is to maintain defensive superiority. With the efficiency, I'm just looking to get my hard light shield back faster. I believe default without it is 10 seconds and with it is about eight seconds or so. Shielding, same thing, same concept. I, it's just my personal shields. I want those uh, back faster. I want those recharging faster in order to, uh, again, be disruptive on a defensive standpoint. So whether it's you know trying to absorb shots for my teammates so they can clean up stuff or get distractions or assists, whatever the case may be, that's how I was trying to use those. Now, with the support upgrade, one of the glaring weaknesses with the hard light shield is for frag grenades, or generally, generally speaking, it's frag grenades, but it could be any type of grenade, slips under your hard light shield in that little space at the bottom, and then you get damaged. So the explosives negate some of that uh, grenade damage, so that's a good ability to have if you're going to use the hard light shield now while i was using the hard light shield i really found myself playing a lot differently than uh, what i'm used to quite frankly with the jet pack or the thruster pack uh, it seems like i was much more spatially aware of uh, where my teammates were on the battlefield um, that that kind of came up because I'm essentially the tank. You know, if there was no one else that was using a hard light shield, I'm the guy that's absorbing all the damage. So I would try to maintain uh, a line of sight with my teammates. That way they could clean up distraction kills or help me out on assists. You know, if I, you know, tapped a guy and uh, then I just back off with my shield and then I see uh, my hero, so to speak, come over and save me. Uh, that seemed like it worked quite a bit. So uh, that's something to think about when you have that ability is trying to maintain a uh, visible line of sight with your teammates so that if you get into any engagements, you can be the guy that's absorbing all the uh, damage while they clean up shots. Very important. Also in some scenarios, and this is a rare case, but it does work sometimes. If you catch your opponents off guard or perhaps they're in the middle of a firefight, you can use their hard shield and then catch them once they reload to finish them off as shown in this clip. So probably the coolest tip and tactic I can leave you guys with today on the hard light shield is the degree at which you can deflect enemy projectiles back at your opponents in hopes of doing some damage. Now this is not a for sure science, but generally speaking, you want to be at about a 30 to 45 degree angle while you're facing your opponent. And as they shoot you, you bring up your hard light shield and it will deflect in their general direction. In about 50 or so games, I've only gotten this to work once. It was against a bolt shot user, and you don't get anything special. There's no um, you know, metal or anything like that. It's just a pat on the back, and you feel awesome. Now, the hard light shield can deflect anything from the scorpion cannon, which it can deflect, to uh, wraith, to warthogs, to rocket launchers, pretty much any projectile. Again, it can deflect it um, or absorb it and you will get away scot-free. All in all, guys, I really enjoyed the hard light shield. I hope you guys found this video very useful. If you enjoy my content, please make sure to like and subscribe as these tips and tactics videos take quite a long time to put together. And until the next time, guys, I will catch you later. Peace. Guys, I gotta give a shout out to SDK Ocelot for helping me out with this video. 
If you guys are familiar with him, he is actually a avid Gears of War fan. He went to Epic Game Studio to play test Gears of War Judgment with me and along with some other people. You guys can follow him on Twitter. Link is down in the description. And uh, check out some of his stuff, guys.